Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how to set up and integrate your Instagram feed on your show up website. So you used to have to have a third party widget embedded on it, but now show it has it built into their platform, which is amazing. So if you are starting from a template, you'll probably have some kind of um, dummy feed set up on your template. Um, and what you can do, if that's the case, is you can click it, you're going to go It'll pull up the social grid settings and you can click choose account and it'll prompt you to connect your account. So you'll follow those instructions um, that show it provides. It'll you walk through the prompts and you'll give your Instagram permission um, <clears throat> or show it permission to access your Instagram. And then once you do that, you'll see your name right here. And so you can select your name. There's my Instagram feed. You have these options, show video posts, um, all those things. You can edit the style of your feed. Maybe you want a gap between your images <clears throat> or you want two rows. Um, you can edit all that and then drag and move it around kind of as needed, similar to any other element on your um, <clears throat> show it account. So now if you do not have an Instagram feed set up or you're building something from scratch, then you are going to go down to this little icon and click social grid. And here again, it's saying connect to Instagram. And so you would uh, set this up again. Now what it's saying about fallback images, say you don't want to connect your Instagram, but you want just something that looks like it kind of. You can set up fallback images, and those are what we have set here in this other one. So if I'm on this one, I've set up these stock images to be um, to to kind of fill in this Instagram feed. Um, so if you don't want to connect your Instagram, but you want it to look like you have it, and you can personalize and select images that kind of are personally tailored, so you could view it as kind of like a portfolio if you wanted. Um, this is where you would do it. You would click manage images and then select the images that you want there. Um, very simple, um, much easier than what it had it was before when you had to integrate a third party. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, I'd love to, to talk you through it and help you make sure that you've got it set up exactly how you want.